Welterweights will get us underway at World Series of Fighting. Welcome to the World Series of Fighting 28. We are live at the Next Level Sports Complex in Garden Grove, California. We'd like to welcome everybody out and those that are watching live on NBCSN. Our event tonight is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Our first fight tonight is brought to you by the Ringside Scoring app. Download the app, score the fight, and win prizes. This fight is scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Welterweight Division. And now, introducing on my left, fighting out of the blue corner of the Decagon. His record stands with six victories and three defeats, four big wins wins coming by way of knockout and two by submission standing five feet 11 inches tall weighing 170 pounds fighting out of huntington beach california by way of miami florida making his debut in the world series of fighting introducing ozzy And now his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Four victories, three defeats, all four wins coming by way of submission. Standing six feet and one inch tall, weighing 170 pounds. Fighting out of the fighting capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Bremerton, Washington. Also making his debut in the Decagon, presenting Andrew the Red. The referee for our first contest is Big John McCarthy. As you look at one of the greats in John McCarthy, Graham and Alvarez, a lot of times you can tell simply by looking at the background, there's Alvarez who had a 5 fight win streak stopped. He's trying to get it back, but Ram comes from that Eddie right, Bravo training Are program. He's a trainer Are with Bravo's 10th Planet. You expect that the man with the red tape around his gloves is going to try to get this to the ground early. Yep, four wins, four submission wins. So, yeah, that is going to happen. Alvarez, meanwhile, he has the blue tape around his gloves, four knockouts and two submission wins in his six victories overall. Last time out was September when he lost to Justin Patterson. Up until then, he had been red hot, trying to get it going once again. Round one scheduled for three. Shout that it's a single kick. I always say, especially against somebody you know who has a different stance, he can simply unload their big right hand, and he can actually do exactly the same thing back, but with the left hand. I like Ram's nickname. It's D. Andrew D. Ram. <laughs> and D. Ram right now with a kick that just misses. Shot. Alvarez tries to pick up the pace here. Nice knee again. He should move away. The wolf's gonna roll into a knee bar. Ah, why did he go to the ground? He's doing great. Ram is the ground specialist. So good. He's an instructor. He's moved from his Washington State home to Las Vegas to be a teacher at Bravo's 10th Planet there in Vegas. So if you said going in, who wants to be on the ground? It would be the man who is on his back right now. Ram. And uh, that's position that he pretty much appreciates. He loves to be there. Here we go. Trying to, try to pass an arm. Launch him up. This will pull his opponent closer to him. His opponent can now make one mistake here. Watch that heel, Andrew. And again, big John McCarthy looking happy in the morning. So, hey, we can start moving here. Boys, we're going to break and get back on our feet. And for Ren, uh, sorry, for Alvarez, it would be great not to throw knees, knees to the hips or to the thighs. Ram on the bottom to no avail so far. 
good minute or so right now, boss. What can he do at this day? Well, there's not a lot now. You know, Alvarez is, can, can create some space and come up. Come on, work what he's doing, let's go. He's watch out for, for a submission attempt, but nothing really there right now. Come up and start unloading with big punches. If I was him, I would have never been in this position. I would have tried to keep, keep standing. Alvarez does have submissions. His stand-up game would appear to be the best with those four career knockouts in six victories. Expecting Alvarez is going to push on the hip. Okay, I thought he was going to throw him in midair. I've seen those Alvarez that are really cool. Put on the hips and then they just twist them in the air. And, and this is pretty late. I expected this actually a little sooner. Well over two minutes. And now, a minute to go in round one. They're back on their feet. We'll see if the southpaw standing out of res will be able to change direction in this fight, land some more strikes. He did a great job with the body shot. Straight to the body. And you should do that again. Right hook to the head, left straight to the body. His opponent can do exactly the same thing to him. Left hook to the head, right straight to the body. Inside low kicks, both these guys is really good because you throw it with a power leg, with your big leg. Ram misses with the right. Does land with a kick inside. Alvarez looking for something, gets the back of Ram. He spins out of it. Final seconds, round one. Not a lot of action to get underway. Ram and Alvarez as round one comes to an end. And back at the Next Level Sports Complex in Garden Grove, California, round two underway, WSOF 28. With the blue tape around his gloves, Ozzy Alvarez against Andrew Ram. Ram had it on the ground. That is his specialty most of the first round. Wasn't a particularly impressive first round. Nope. No one was able to find much of a groove in either direction, stand up or That's the thing. Drives. Yeah. We saw um, Alvarez landed a body shot and then he came in, but then he got taken down. How does that count versus the submission tie up that he did, not really going for a submission? Is this an even round? You know? It makes it tough because it was Ram that did control the action. Yep what little there was, but he was at least able to dictate the pace. And there's a knee by Alvarez. Alvarez again, nice kick. Our man on the scene as always, let's check in with our roving reporter in the Ram corner, Joey Farner. All right, Kenny, in the Ram corner, his coaches were specific. Use that jab to set up the body kick. They feel like Alvarez does not like getting hit in the body, and he's soft there. They also said next time you hit the ground, use that butterfly sweep to take control of the top position. All right, thank you, Joey. Alvarez, you feel at any moment he's going to be able to move in and get some kind of combination out of this south point, uh, southpaw stance against Ram. He needs to. It looks that way, boss, but so far. You know, he doesn't want to go to the ground again. So, and he knows he, if he makes a mistake, he will go to the ground. Most of the time, once it's on the ground, it's done by your opponent. And that is good in the eyes of the judges. distance it's going to be hard to make a mistake now Alvarez moves in lands a couple of nice body shots tries to pick it up Yeah, but he 
she followed up with the left. She's not been able to put that combination together so far. Again, this is a man with four knockout victories in his six career wins. Something out. He's going to get 
card. That's what, is, that's what Red is hoping for, of course. Only Alvarez doesn't pull out. Reyes, he knows he's very patient. He knows he gets one move in that high guard, he can end this fight. Yep. Yep. Right now, John McCarthy stands him back up. To the appreciation of most of the crowd, you would think possibly also this is the advantage for Ozzy Alvarez if he keeps this fight standing up, the man with the blue tape around his gloves. Yeah, if he lands a few more shots and then maybe he picks up another takedown, he's going to win this fight. Not sure about the punching power of Graham, if he's able to get a knockout. third round, big second round for him, as we heard from Joey Stop. Varner, his corner thinks he was already up two we rounds to zip right? coming into this fight. The judges have made their call. Let's get the decision. Here's Jazz to read it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of professional fighting, we will go to your judges' scorecards. Judges Gene LaBelle and Larry Landless score about 30 to 27, and Chris Crail scores at 29 to 28. All for your winner by unanimous decision. Oh! 